Doss High School, class of 2020, congratulations, you made it. I know this isn't exactly the way any of us wanted to see you cap off your high school careers, but you know everyone will remember the graduating class of 2020. Doss High School, you all are special to me. You know that as seniors now, I was your principal when you were freshmen. And I'm very proud to see you graduating right now. I'm so proud to see those transition readiness numbers at Doss High School above 50%. You all are moving in the right direction as a school, and I'm so proud to see everything that's going on at Doss. Again, congratulations to all of you. Your teachers and the rest of the JCPS family are proud of you. I'm proud of the Doss High School class of 2020. Good luck. I think the class of 2020 is dedicated, resilient, hardworking, fun-loving. I mean, I could go through so many different things, but I. I think the word that really sticks out to me the most is loyal. I mean, over the course of the last four years, they've stepped up and met so many different challenges and never made any excuses, just stepped up and met them. But I think one of the greatest and coolest things that this class was exceeding transition readiness rates to like leaps and bounds beyond any other class had already exceeded the class of 2019 by 20%. We were so excited about where we were gonna end up at the end of May if we had traditional school. I mean, we were on our way to some unbelievable transition readiness numbers that were the result of not just the students, but our whole staff's hard work. I want you to remember all of the good times from your freshman year onto your senior year. I want you to remember all of the pep rallies, all the athletic events. Well, I want you to remember, even though you were not able to have your senior prom this year, remember that junior prom last year, and how great that was, how much fun we had there. I know that each of you are, are probably disappointed that we weren't able to kind of finish what we started and that this just, it's not fair. And I know a lot of us, including myself, will remember the, the months and days that lead up to your graduation, your senior year, and those rites of passage, and that many of you were looking forward to the senior walk and the who's who lunch and all of those activities that I know you were really looking forward to. But after speaking with many of you, the thing that's amazed me is that you've asked me, what can you do to help our school? And instead of you being disappointed and you not knowing what to do, you've wanted to reach out and us bind together as a, as a school, as a tight unit, and kind of hopefully make this into a positive experience as we can. And that's what I'm proud of you for, is stepping up for our school, even through some of the toughest times like this. Well, I think each one of you remember each morning when you come in the building, you'll see Mr. Archie standing there telling you to get the class. And I know you remember Miss Puckett in the cafeteria, always giving kids hugs and welcoming you in the morning for breakfast. Of course, I hope you remember me standing at the front door welcoming you in each day, because I was there and that's something um, that I really enjoyed. I hope that all of you all remember all of your teachers, all of the ones that stepped up and advocated for you each day and all the ones that were always there after school and before school and putting in the extra time. I hope you remember all of them. Um, I think they all really care and miss you and are really thinking about you through this time. So always keep that in mind. Dragon Nation, class of 2020. So proud of you. I wore my bow tie for you today. So hopefully you can see that and remember that. I'm so excited uh, for what the future holds for each one of you. And I always want you to remember that once you're a dragon, always you're a dragon.